Hey Morales community, I'm Joseph, your Web3 instructor. In this video, we're going to check how you can build an automated Telegram bot that listens to any blockchain event happening on an EVM chain. It can be an NFT being minted, a token being transferred, or in our case, we're looking at a smart contract of an NFT and when an NFT of that specific smart contract gets transferred. We're going to look at the Doodles NFTs and you can see in this Telegram app, I've already gotten previous transfers and this will automatically send me a new message once a new Doodle NFT is getting transferred. Now you can build this with different blockchain events or smart contracts and I will keep this Telegram app opened and hopefully we can see a transfer happening during this recording. If this sounds fun, let's get right into it. I have created a server on its simplest form. Let's start by creating a folder. Mine is called automated telegram NFT transfers bot. And within that one, I have my backend folder. So let's CD into backend. And in here, we're going to need to install a few dependencies. I've installed .env express node telegram bot API for creating our bot and node mon so we don't need to restart our server when, once we update things. Great, so let's fire up our express server. I'm using port 5001 and we'll start listening to it. For this server, we will have one endpoint, the slash webhook. And before we start this webhook on a local machine, we have to be able to post to this webhook on Morali's side. So we'll use something called ngrok that creates a tunnel to our local machine so anyone can access it over the internet. Before uh, we can use ngrok though, you need to install it on your machine. I've used this command to install it, so I won't run it again. And once you've done that, install the dependency so we can use it in our project. Now we can run this ngrok HTTP command and add the port that we have in our server, so 5001. Hit enter, and we're getting this URL that we want to copy and add to our stream at in Morales. So let's copy this one. And we also want to open a new terminal while this is running and run our server. Once you've done that, cd into backend and type npm run start. So now our server is up and running. Let's go to morales.io to set up the stream. If you don't have a Morales account yet, go to morales.io and create your free account. Once you've logged in, go to streams and create a new stream. We're gonna create it from admin, so we can hit next and done. And we can start by pasting in the webhook URL we just copied from ngrok. In our server, we have this post endpoint on slash webhook. So make sure you're adding that in here as well. Next, we can add the address we want to monitor. So I've opened doodles in OpenC and going to etherscan, I can copy this contract address, paste it in here. Next, give the stream a description. Finally, a tag. If we scroll down, our contract is on Ethereum mainnet. So let's select that one. But if you have another smart contract that you want to create a stream for on another EVM chain, make sure you select your preferred one. Our activity is contract interactions and we're going to use event emittance so we can actually look an, at any event that the contract fires. So let's enable that and go back to etherscan to contract because we need to copy the ABI. When we go back, once we copy and paste the ABI, Morales will show us all the topics we can stream. So let's paste that in. And in our case, we want to look at the transfer. And there we have it up and running. Now go back to Visual Studio Code. The first thing we can see is this empty response. But once we have some transfers, we're going to see them right here. Just like that, we can see that we have gotten some responses. And within these NFT transfers, we get the different transfers of this NFT that has happened and data such as the from address, the to address, the token ID, uh, transaction hash, token name, and so on and so on. So what we want to do next is instead of console logging this whole response, we want to console log only the few chosen ones. So let's 
remove this one and instead paste a for loop in this for loop we will go through the webhook object and every nft transfers within that one and what we want to display for every nft transfer is the from account the to account the token id and then the transaction hash so let's do that like so and what we want to do here is to take the from address and the to address and we don't want to display this whole address right here we want to display the four first characters and then the last four so we're gonna slice it like this then the token item which contains the token name doodles right here and then the token id and also the transaction hash so you can copy that one and go to etherscan and get more data perfect there we have some responses that we are console logging for now the next step is to replace this console log with the bot automatically sending messages on telegram so let's open up telegram and search for bot father once you have started a conversation with this bot hit the start button that will be on the bottom and these instructions will show up let's create a new bot and choose the name then let's choose the username and it has it must end with bot let's make sure we copy this access token for our bot and paste that in inside the dot env variable in our code now let's create a new channel and invite our bot to that channel and add it as an admin inside the channel go to this menu and info administrators add admin and search for your bot and hit done great now let's go back to our browser and go to this endpoint and add your bots token api right here after the bot and between the forward slash like so now if you get this message it means we probably need to shut down our server first so let's do that and also let's send the message in this channel and now let's retry and from here we have the information we need we can take this chat id and paste that in in our server so the bot knows where to send the messages but first let's go to our code and import the dependency that we need for the bot so let's do const telegram bot like so then we also want to import the env variable that we just stored in the .env file like so and we want to create a bot that uses polling to fetch new updates so let's do it like this const bot we're gonna use our token api right here and then polling we're setting that to true perfect now inside our webhook we're gonna use the function that uh, telegram bot gives us which is called send message and this function takes two parameters the chat id like so and the text itself so we need to create these two let's do them right here let's start with the chat id and this is the one we're going to take from uh, from this url so let's copy the chat id and paste that in and then let's create the text variable as well and this is gonna be exactly what we console logged earlier so let's copy that and 
paste that in let's remove this log save this file and now let's run our server again and once we get a new transfer of this doodle nft it should show up right here in our telegram like so right there so here you can see that you can build this awesome automated telegram bot using the morales streams and get all the transactions of a specific nft or if you want to use the streams of minting an nft or when a token being transferred that's totally up to you i hope you enjoyed this video make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to this channel and i hope i will see you in the next one